No. <laughs> well, I don't like, think it's morally correct at all. No. I think that's a very leading question. I don't think anyone thinks that's fair, do they really? No. 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 Oh. Uh, clever. Um, it doesn't really affect me. I suppose it does, but not something I really thought about. And from when I heard about it, I thought it was quite a smart thing to do. I don't know, I just suppose, um, I think every company should be required to have more clearer guidelines and actually make that information public rather than finding a way to hide it, I suppose. Because the government could force them to, 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 to change the tax rules, laws. That's how they could do it. And then new people say, well, they're going to leave the country. That's nonsense, they won't. They're making too much money here. By the end of the day, the guys behind the counter aren't the ones that made those decisions. So. It's not anything to do with the guys in there, it's to get to the guys above. So then obviously we need more money to go into that side of the economy, but that's out of my hands and out of their hands. <laughs> um, I would probably say uh, stop trying to come up with gimmicks like cheaper coffee on a Monday and actually just have a bit more honesty in your policy. Okay, probably. I'll probably try and set up a lunch with him and try and place him at one of my clients. I'd say, why should I pay tax and you not? You know, you work in the UK, you pay tax in the UK. You don't stick it somewhere in Belgium or wherever it is they hide it off to. I have to pay corporation tax, so why shouldn't they?